Hey everybody, it's Mike with Unity Intercom, and here is a quick updated overview tutorial of our Unity Cloud service. So here we are at the beginning of the login screen. This can be found from our website by clicking login from unityintercom.com, or you can go directly to cloud.unityintercom.com. That's the direct link to the login screen. You can also come here to create an account if you don't have one already, or if you have are having trouble logging in, you can click forgot password. Logins are always the email address used by the person trying to log in. Uh, during that process, it, it asks you to validate an email, you know, prove ownership of that, create a password. Those are the credentials that you'll use to log into your dashboard. That's where you manage users. So the screen you're gonna see in a moment here is our dashboard screen where we go in and we create our, our team. We start, we make users and we create passwords and, and we assign them to subscriptions so that those particular accounts are active. Um, so I'm gonna log in with some saved information here. This is one of our demo accounts. So I am on the main organization page, essentially, there are three places to go. There's the organization link, which is general information about your organization. There's the subscriptions page, and there's the users page. So um, this is some demo account information. Yours is gonna be blank. So the first thing you do, it brings you to the organization page. The organization name is the name that people are gonna use when they're logging into the app on their phones. Most of this will be filled out during the um, sign up process. Um, here's where you would also check out and, and name your, your channel titles, your party line channels. You can do a four character abbreviation and that helps other users when they log in to make sense of, you know, what is the purpose of this particular channel over this one. Um, otherwise they'll just be named channels one through six. Also, I think it's important to note that at the very bottom of the organization page is the payment info screen. So uh, when you created your cloud account, your card on file uh, is saved with Stripe, the payment processor. In the event you need to make a change to that, if you wanted to put another card on file, you would simply enter the card information down here uh, at the bottom of the gen, or excuse me, at the bottom of the organization page, down here with the payment info, um, and then hit save. That will override the def the card they have in Stripe as your default card, and it will put this one in its place. So the first place you're going to need to go is the users list, and there are two categories. At the very top are the admin users. Um, they're really not users at all. They're, this is the admin section. So you can see there's Michael Marston here. Um, this is where people that can log into the dashboard and create users and do that type of management stuff are created. Um, and you can add like another admin if you want to give somebody else the ability to, to log in and, and create um, users and change passwords and stuff like that. This top area is not how you log into the app, I should say. The logging into the apps on your phones and tablets and computers, that has to be done by creating a user in this lower section. So I'll reiterate real quick, it gives you an admin user by default when you make the account. So once you sign up, um, those sign-in credentials, an email and a password, get listed up here. And that makes you an admin so you can log into the dashboard. You won't be able to log into Unity Intercom though, into the, into the actual clients, until you create users. So you can make another user. So I've got another Mike Marston down here because um, I had to make one. This doesn't get me into the phones and clients. This does. All these do. So you start off by clicking on the green plus button to add a user. And you come up with a username. This is what they're going to use to log into the app. Um, name is how they will appear on the, on the devices to other people and you can choose their passwords. Um, this right here is where you give them talk and listen abilities on the different party line channels. And then finally channel admin, all this does 
is it gives them access to two icons that the other people who are not admins don't have. Or left is going to be a page all icon, which is an ability to talk over everybody and say things like break in five, break in five minutes, um, that kind of thing. And the next one in the lower right is going to be how you can unlatch all opened microphones. It's an unlatch icon. And that uh, just simply allows you to mute any voxed open microphone. And so, okay, so this uh, second section again is the users. These are people that can actually log into the Unity Cloud account from their phones and tablets and devices. Now, it's important to notice over here on the far right, some of these users are assigned to a plan and others say assigned to subscription. This CAM4 user will not be able to log into Unity Intercom because they're not added to a subscription. You can create as many users as you want, but you can only, or you're limited to, uh, assigning however many people you've paid for to your subscription. So um, again, I'm, I'm just making sure I'm clear. By assigning someone to a subscription, that's what makes them active so they can log in on their phones and such. And you can, you can always unassign somebody to a subscription too. So I can come over here to customer seven even. And if I click that hyperlink, it brings me to the subscriptions page. I could have just clicked on subscriptions as well. And it also brings me here. So that's the subscriptions page. And we come over here and we have our active subscription that we've paid for. And you click on this drop down to manage who are able to log into their phones. So if I turn off customer seven, someone trying to log into my cloud system using customer seven is going to get a error message until we add them back. So it's as simple as checking or unchecking these boxes. Now, also, since we're here, if I am, so like this, I have a monthly 20 user. If I'm in, you know, if it's the morning of the show or maybe the night before, or maybe <laughs> right in the middle of the show, uh, something I'm using Unity Intercom for, and I'm short five users, I can add a subscription and add another subscription on top of this one, and they will stack. They'll, everyone will still be in the same group. Um, I'm just giving, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm giving more opportunities to check mark people and add them to subscriptions so they can log in. So if I need five more people and it's, I just, it's a, maybe it's even a temporary, just for the next couple of days, I'm going to need a few more seats. You can click on add subscription and you can choose. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to grab an annual. That's a year long commitment. I'm going to, I'm going to look for one of these events most likely. And here's an event five. So I, for 48 bucks, I could grab uh, an event five, which would give me five more users for the next seven days. And it will show up as a secondary line right here. And I can also click on this blue drop down on the other subscription that is, and I can add five more people to it. I should also mention the auto renew feature. When auto renew is not checked, your subscription will expire at the end date. Mine has, is artificially changed here for it's a demo account. Um, but if auto renew is not checked, your subscription will expire. So if you have a monthly subscription, that's a three month or quarterly subscription, it will expire at the end date and it won't bill you in the event you want it to bill you because you, you want to continue seamlessly and you just, you want to pay for another three months at the conclusion. Uh, by checking this box, it will automatically bill you and get you going. If at any point you wish to stop or if you are good, let's say we're going into the summer and we're not really going to need Unity Cloud, um, you know, and you see that perhaps you're, you know, have gotten an email of an upcoming charge or, you know, go ahead and just uncheck this box. And that will just make sure that you get to use Unity for the duration of what you paid for, but then it won't automatically charge you again. Um, and, and you can, you know, once it's, once it's canceled, it, it will be canceled and you would, you would need to add another subscription, you know, once you went beyond that point, but that's what auto renew does essentially. So in a nutshell, organization information about you, the customer of unity intercom cloud and, um, channel titles, very important. This is super helpful for your users of unity cloud. 
you have the subscriptions page, which is vital because no one is going to be able to log in unless they've been added to the subscription. And then the users page where we go and we manage our team. That is... Uh, that's that's actually the majority of the Unity Cloud uh, interface. There There is one other uh, thing I ought to mention. Um, some people have multiple cloud accounts tied to their email address. Uh, that This is also, you know, one of the updates we did. In, the, in that event, in the upper left, it's going to say, please select your organization. And you might need to hop between different organizations. Uh, so if I if I jump down to weekly test, I, that's I'm actually hopping into a whole nother group, um, and groups don't see each other. So in the event you had two separate events going on, but you were looking to keep them 100% separate, you would create a secondary account, not another subscription, but a whole nother account, and you could use your same email address. So I can I can hop back into Unity demo. So this is a great way to hop from group to group. Um, remember, making a whole nother account using that same email address is the way that you would handle uh, a separate team that you were not able to restrict via party line channels. You wanted the other team to have all six party line channels. You would make a whole separate account for that. But Okay. So now that we know how to create users and create passwords in the Unity Cloud dashboard, um, let's talk about how to get people logged in on their phones and tablets and uh, mobile devices. There are, uh, well, the, what we're looking at is the main screen. Let's say we've just launched the app on our phone, for example. Basically, step one, everyone has to choose Unity Cloud as the login type at the bottom of their screen. There's three options. You're going to use the Unity Cloud option. And then next, they're going to be presented with the, uh, it's going to ask for company or organization. Um, and that, if you'll remember, um, everyone on the team is going to have to enter this information. And this, you know, you can change this, of course, but you'll have to remember what you changed it to. That information is the organization field in your dashboard. So that's what everyone's going to have to type into that company field, the organization name. Um, next, their username. So they're going to enter the username that you chose and entered earlier here. You, every, you, know, you have to put in a username, and the username is what people use to log into Unity Intercom. The username is different than the name. So in this example, I'm going to log in as Mike. Um, when I log into the app, though, I'm going to show up to everybody else on the team as boss man, which is that that name. I just kind of, you know, just having fun with it. Um, so the name can be anything you want, but the username is how they're going to log in. A lot of companies like to keep things simple, and they they tend to have everybody just use their first name as the username. That's real common. You don't have to do that, of course, but um, that's that's somewhat of an easy way because if you're telling a group of people, um, you can say, hey, everybody log in with your first name. Uh, and of course, in the event of, uh, you know, hey, hey, you know, here's the other Mike. Mike, you're going to log in as Mike M, you know, that type of thing. But that tends to be a really easy way to communicate the username. And then everyone's going to enter, lastly, their password. Um and that can be a varying, you know, some people choose to have kind of a common password. Uh, others choose to have a specific password for each user. It's, it's really about what makes sense for your team. Thank you, everybody. For more information on our Unity Intercom Cloud service, visit unityintercom.com forward slash cloud.